Welcome to Wales, a country known for its mountainous national parks, strong cultural identity and its love of the great outdoors. For this adventure, we teamed up with Land Rover to go on an epic four-day road trip. We're going to visit waterfalls, hike mountains, drive off-road and find the most scenic drives in Wales for the most memorable road trip ever. For our road trip in Wales, we have highlighted the national parks and the first stop for us is down south in Brecon Beacons and we're going to go tick off a waterfall that has been on our bucket list for a long time. It's Henred Falls, the famous waterfall that was used in a scene for the Dark Knight Rises. We're very excited. Hopefully this little bit of rain means it's looking quite good. Let's go down and check it out. <laughs> the lack of rain for the past month has really um, altered how we pictured Henry Falls was gonna look like. I was kind of thinking that like, oh, we had a really sunny June like this, it might not quite work, but we have a little tinkle and we can see we can walk behind the falls, which is what we really want to do. So it's still a really epic place. Let's go make the most of it. Okay, we have made it to the Four Waterfalls Trail now, and this is somewhere we have actually been before, but we were here last time in winter. There was snow on the ground and ice down around the rivers, so it's gonna be a bit different here. We do still have a little bit of uh, precipitation from earlier today, but we are gonna continue on. I think it's kind of dying off a little bit. Uh, the waterfalls, we've only seen one of these before, so we're very excited to see the other three. Um, there's actually plenty more to see in this area, but we're not going to have time to see them all. Let's just see what we can find today. Is this on? Yeah. Bloody hell. Well, we have made it, and as you can see, it's absolutely epic. We have lots of water pumping here at this waterfall. This is probably the highlight of the Four Falls Trail. We're going to see the others, obviously, but I think this is one that everyone talks about, and you can see why it is spectacular. And I'm sure you're wanting us to go around the waterfall to the back, so let's head over there. like crazy adrenaline rush when you come behind the waterfalls it's so loud you've got like the wind from the water like whooshing all around you you can feel the cold water it is such a cool place to be this is epic they were saying how great the first one is so i've kind of lowering my expectations for the rest of the waterfalls but i think this one is just as beautiful obviously you can't walk around the falls but i love that you can come to the top platform up here and it's this wide open space i am blown away this is amazing there's a big waterfall around here plunge pool after plunge pool after plunge pool what a place Woo! more of a lookout one isn't it not up and close it's a lookout one wow look at that massive tree trunk wow they left that there for dramatic effect pretty cool we are on our way now to the north of Wales so we're going to drive through the beacons and continue upwards to Snowdonia National Park which we're very very excited about we hear it's absolutely beautiful the weather is still pretty tragic but that means that we can have some fun on the four wheel drives around here. And we have come to a viewpoint to have a little picnic. The view is currently fog, but we're hoping it clears up over the next few days because we've got a lot to do in Snowdonia. But for now, we're gonna enjoy a little rest. Now, because we are doing this trip with Land Rover, of course, we have to test it out. 
So we are taking the car on some green lanes we found on our way up to Snowdonia. Loads of little midgy flies it looks like, it's going to be quick. That was so cool. I just crawled up this like rock hill all the way to the top, spun around and came back down. It was quite technical. There was like some bits where you had to kind of like ride over a ridge and then like cut across. Um, but so much fun, super capable. All the settings inside, you're just like, okay, what am I doing? Rock crawling or sand or muddy ruts, whatever you are going through. This vehicle, you just push the button and it just works it all out for you. So super easy, not really technical four-wheel driving, but wicked fun. After leaving Sandovery's Green Lanes, we continued our drive north and found ourselves in the middle of the most incredible mountain valleys. The weather definitely added to the atmosphere and while we couldn't see the tops of the mountains we were driving through, we could feel the energy of the landscape which was enriched by the lush greenery that surrounded us. We definitely took the long way towards the north of Wales, detouring to see some of the most scenic drives that Wales has to offer. We were led through the most incredible valleys and over mountain passes towards the Elam Valley region, an area of monumental reservoirs which offers some great opportunities to drive across the dams and explore the hillsides off of the sealed tarmac. We arrived at Porth Madog on the edge of Snowdonia National Park, where we stayed the evening, preparing to take on Wales's highest mountain the following day. Wow, this is very, very exciting. We have some sunny weather, sunny-ish, a bit of cloud. We're about to take on Lamberis Pass, which starts just at the railway station. We're sort of heading up the road a little bit where the path officially starts. We arrived into Snowdonia last night and we checked the forecast and today looked like the perfect day to go for a hike. We have decided to start at the Lamberis route. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I definitely don't think I have. It's the main route, the most popular one. Before we do that, I want to show you guys. Doing okay, I think we're nearly halfway there. Nice breeze. I think I'm ready for a little picnic break soon. We've got a flask of tea and some sandwiches. We can see the train, we've got a few now that have gone past so we keep seeing them chugging away. And it looks like they go very steep on those top bits. I'm sure it's a fun way to get out of the snow down, especially if you've got some younger kids or you don't really want to do the hike. It looks quite scary too, to be honest, quite near the edge. It's just epic, it's so epic. This final bit right up to the summit. I'm very excited to get there. We made it to the top of Snowden. Woo. 
we've come to Black Rock Sands now, which is a beach that you're allowed to drive cars on. Uh, you pay a fee of eight pounds to get on here, and it's very close to where we're staying in Portsmouth Dog, so we thought we'd come and check it out. It's pretty cool. We've got a massive stretch of beach. There is Black Rocks at the northern end, and then to the southern end, that is the inlet which leads into Portsmouth Dog and then up to the mountains. So it's a pretty cool beach to come and check out. We've just been flying the drone. We've obviously got terrible weather, which is why we're in the car doing four-wheel drive stuff. Um, but yeah, if you've got a four-wheel drive, this is definitely one to check out. You can see by the depth of my tires and the state of the sand around me, I have had some fun. And come and look how much sand is inside. Well, this is not what we intended to do today, but we have ended up at Harlech Castle. Um, it's an impressive fortress. We were supposed to be going to a waterfall today, but the weather has just been too wild and we didn't want to hike in the rain all day. So here we are. Let me show you this view because it is very impressive. It's not ending, it's not ending. It's a lot longer <laughs> walk than I have thought. After hiking Snowden yesterday, this is getting painful. Oh my god. This was the medieval version of a treadmill. All right, it's really hurting. I think we're nearly at the top. We must be quite high up. Oh, for God's sakes. You're almost there. It never ends. It is never ending. It's like my mission. Thank you. Oh, oh lordy. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know where we are going to end up then. <laughs> Just kept walking. <laughs> wow. Here we are. <laughs> we finally made it. I thought it was going to be like each level of the castle. We went all the way up. Wow. Oh, that was a long walk. But wow, look at this view. You can see all along the coastline. It's kind of a cool atmosphere though, visiting this castle today on such crazy weather. It kind of feels like it was, should have felt like here. Wild castle on the Welsh coastline. And a really cool fact is Wales has more castles than any other country in the UK. I'll be a while. <laughs> okay, done. Whew. So this castle was built by the King of England in the late 13th century to secure the land against the Prince of Wales, which he took from. And this place became an area where there was lots of sieges over the years. And it also inspired the song Men of Harlech. 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 Oh, you were meant to be up here on a very, very windy day. I mean, it's already pretty windy. It is summertime. It does look like we're in November, but <laughs> I think it adds to it, doesn't it? Well, I really enjoyed that. We actually only ended up here in this area because we were coming to the world's steepest street, which runs right next to the castle and goes down to the bottom of the hill. And here we are, we're at a castle. So a little surprise, a lovely little surprise in North Wales. Okay, we have come back to the beautiful Elan Valley. It is a place full of reservoirs and we are just taking a scenic drive around Clearwyn Reservoir. Uh, there is a green lane which goes all the way around it. So we are just having a little adventure. Uh, it has been fun so far and the drive out here is just so lovely. Lots of nature, lots of tall trees. It's just really beautiful. Okay, it's all okay. Hey, please. Hey, please. All the stuff's... Well, oh. 
<laughs> so we've just stopped at Clearwind Reservoir on a bit of a lookout point and we have some friends. <laughs> Maybe you can hear them. Ah, funny. <laughs> if you're planning a trip to Wales, check out these two videos. We share our full experience hiking Snowdon and our waterfall adventure in the Brecon Beacons. If you'd like to support this channel, hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.